Hi, I'm Susanna. Jell-O Pudding's Hot Cocoa Pudding Mugs are sweet, decadent, and simply delicious. So to get started, I have a saucepan here, and to that I'm going to add two quarter ounce packets of Knox Unflavored Gelatin. So let's put that packet in, and let's add the second. Perfect. And to that, I'm adding one and a half cups of milk. There we go. And let's give this a quick whisk. Now, if you'll notice, I have my saucepan off the heat. We really just want to make sure that this gelatin softens right now. We'll be putting it on the heat in just a second. Now that the gelatin is softened, I'm going to move this onto the heat. Now that I have my pan over medium heat, I want to stir this constantly for three minutes or until the gelatin is dissolved. The gelatin is completely dissolved now, so I'm going to remove the pan from the heat. And now I'm going to add two ounces of melted Baker's bittersweet chocolate. Yum. Put that right in there. And I find using a rubber spatula works best to get all the chocolate out. And you'll use that whisk to stir this up. You want to make sure that chocolate's evenly incorporated. Now that the chocolate's fully incorporated, we'll want to let this cool for five minutes. For our next step in the dessert, we're going to mix one packet of Jell-O chocolate flavor instant pudding into our bowl. There we go. And let's add to that one cup of milk. Now, if you're making an adults-only version of this recipe, feel free to substitute and use only three quarters of a cup of milk, and then throw in a quarter cup of, say, creme de coco or peppermint schnapps into this recipe. It tastes really good. So now let's whisk this for one minute. There we go. So now that the pudding mixture is done, let's add in the gelatin mixture a little bit at a time, about a third. We'll whisk that in. There we go. It's going to be thick at first, but we'll work it in a little bit at a time. Add in a little bit more now. That looks great. And let's put in our last third of that gelatin mixture. Just be patient, it'll all come together. Look at that, this looks beautiful. Just be sure it's all evenly incorporated before moving on to the next step. To make our adorable little hot cocoa mugs, I've started out with these little plastic shot glasses that you can pick up inexpensively at any liquor store or party supply store. I've coated them with cooking spray and I'm pouring the filling right in. I find it easy to use one of these little measuring cups which has a little spout, so I'm going to pour the filling right in, about three quarters of the way full. So we'll put that one in there, and then this last one here. And all we need to do now is refrigerate these for three hours until they firm up. Our hot cocoa mugs are out of the refrigerator. I've already started to assemble them, so let me show you how easy it is. So you just kind of turn it a little bit, give it a little tap on the bottom, comes right out. We'll flip that over. And then I have these little pretzel halves that have been broken in half. This is the adorable little handle for the mug. So you're just going to push that right into the side, and that makes this cute little handle. This is adorable. So let me rest this down on our serving plate. And now I'm going to get some Cool Whip Whip topping and put a teaspoon right on top. This will be that froth of whip topping right on our cocoa mug. There we go. And now we'll top it with a few Jet Puff Mallow bits. Right on top there. Lots of chocolate flavor packed into one little mug. If you're looking for a reduced sugar version of this recipe and other great Jell-O recipes, go to Jell-O.com.